Okay. Okay. So, okay, this is the surrealistic art project. It's like this. My canvas is the collective bow. Mm -hmm. Canvas is this, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So instead of uh, using sculpt uh, materials, I can actually use canvases also. What I'm using now, instead of a canvas, is a collective bubble. Uh, the collective bubble is this. Prehistoric times. Bush. Until one guy tuned into a frequency and said, hey, you guys see that over there? Oh, yeah, I see. Oh, a tree. Oh, a tree. And then like magic, where it was just bush, we tuned into a frequency, identified it. Now, you say, Look, there's another one. And I say, and another one. And you say, look, there's another one over there. As if they were popping up. But no, they're always there. Because because we tuned into a frequency identified, now we can see it. I'll give you an easier example. Yellow. You grab yellow and you put yellow in many shades of yellow, which for me is light yellow to dark yellow. But if I tune into a frequency of yellow, and then it says yellow line, I now take my eye off that and look at that same yellow, and there it is. Light yellow, yellow line, dark yellow. Light yellow, yellow line, dark yellow. It's because we tune into a frequency identify it, now we can see it. Okay, so this surrealistic art project starts with the title of this tree. Fruta madura apanhas tu chão. Which means, picking ripe fruit from the ground. Yes. You speak Portuguese? Don't yes, you? yes, yes. I understood that too. Yes. yes. Good. Okay, so picking right, fruit, picking right fruit from the ground. What I mean by this is this. In life, you cannot reach into life and take good from life. Because if you take good from life, it's going to be missed. Therefore, it's not the good you want. In order for it to be good, life has to give it to you. Like the apples. If you reach too early to the tree and yank and bite that apple down, it's, it's not ready. It's not the apple you want. For that, you have to give time. And with time, you'll find that apple on the floor where it's ripe. And that's what the surrealistic art project is. Crowdfunding love, test, contemplate, recognize, nourish the truth of being human. Here it goes. It begins with a story, then proceeds to draft science, it ends with him to life, the final concept of this story, which I put for you guys. So we start, we start here, love. Love is something very, very special. I actually believe love is part of this ecosystem, but we're speaking about humans. Mm -hmm. With humans, love is something very important. For example, those who have love to give only feel the love they have when they give it. And that's when they feel it. It's a matter of giving in order to feel. Because if you hold back with love, what you're feeling is not love, it's something else. In order to feel love, you gotta, oh, there it is again. Give it, right? And then when it comes to humans, love is what connects us to us. It's what connects us as family. And it's also what connects the human species to the planet. I'm an atheist. I don't believe in God. No religion for me. But if 2017 years ago when Jesus was born, if love had stopped, well, then women would stop giving flesh, blood, blood, and bone for all humans. So we wouldn't be around no more. If love stops today, we're not here tomorrow. That's how important love is. And it's also very important for the planet. It's part of the ecosystem. It's part of the universe. Love is the ultimate force. Okay, but anyways. And then it says, test, contemplate, recognize, nourish the truth of being human. And that's because I'm an atheist. I don't believe in God. I started wondering, and then by wondering, I started questioning, how to identify what is part of an ecosystem? Right? Without fucking it up, very important to you. How to identify what's part of an ecosystem without fucking it up? Good. I discovered a tool to which humans are the best using it in our solar system. You guys want to guess what tool that is? We're the best using this fucking tool, all humans. We're the best using this tool in the whole solar system. Do you guys want to guess what it is? I'll tell you. Our imagination. And in our imagination, now we're going to do this. With this magic pen, we're going to take out an element from the ecosystem. If what we take out, other things start to fall with it, well, that means what we took out is part of the ecosystem. Because that's what it is. An ecosystem is something connected. Right? So let's start the science project. With this magic pen, we're now going to take out an element from the ecosystem. We're going to take out the egg and the mosquito. We leave the mosquitoes alone. All of them. Up from the whole planet, of course, because we're talking about the ecosystem. But we're going to take out all the eggs that the mosquitoes put to this time, right now. Done. Their eggs are gone. What happens? Let's think. The mosquitoes put their eggs in water. If we take, if we take out the egg from the water, the small fish has no food. The other fish that eats that small fish has no food either. So, 
very quickly, in our imagination, in our science project, we can come to this conclusion, the A is part of the ecosystem. Correct? Okay, everybody understood? We're all synchronized here? Great. Now, because I haven't thinking about this a whole lot, the ecosystem is so, so strongly connected like this, that prey need predator. We know predator need prey, but it's not that obvious that prey needs predator to have conditions to live in this ecosystem. And it's true. The fact that I give here is history. Seventy years ago in America, when they started natural parks, one of them is called Yellowstone. And in that park, it had a lot of wolves and things about food. And now because people were going to the park, the Americans stressed that the wolves can hunt the people. So before it happened, what they decided to do was take out the predator from the park. So they hunted all the wolves. They hunted the wolves and the buffaloes. So the humans hunted all the wolves. What happened to the buffaloes? What happened to the buffaloes? If we take out the wolves, huh? that's wrong. They disappeared. But it's okay, everybody thinks like that. They disappeared. And that's showing another key element of this ecosystem. Like the apple that falls from the tree, everything seeds back into the ecosystem. This, it disappeared. This is history. Yes. What they did was they killed the wolves and then the buffalo stopped going there. Why? Like the apple that falls from the tree, everything seeds back into the ecosystem. Including the dead buffalo was seeding conditions for other buffaloes to come. Very simple. The wolf would hunt the buffalo, eat the buffalo, leave the rest of the, of the buffalo, the carcass. And that would attract animals, that would attract smaller animals, that would mess with the grass, make this grass grow, that would bring in the buffaloes. So when the Americans killed all the wolves, there was no more dead buffalo to feed all those small animals, that grass didn't grow. The buffaloes, what they do is they immigrate. So they were passing by the year after that. Keep going. Because the balance had been broken. Those animals were hungry, that grass didn't grow, the buffaloes had no more grass to eat. So that's how strongly connected this ecosystem is. You cannot take out the predator. Right? We all, we all agree with this? Good. Now, with this magic pen, let's take out humans. What happens? One sec. The animals we domesticated, what we did was this. We went into nature. We grabbed nature's creation, and we brought that into our collective bubble of memory. And we made our own domesticated version of it. The second we let go, like an elastic, it goes back into its natural shape. So those animals are not lost. Even in the Amazon, when people live in balance with nature, the difference will be three pigs inside a fence will be running around free. So we come to this part of the science project where we can agree that the egg of the mosquito has more connection to this ecosystem than we do. And if we had a graphic in our imagination, we can easily come to this conclusion. It wouldn't tilt down if we did humans. It would tilt up because nature would take back everything we fucked. <laughs> but that's not my point. My point is, how to identify what's part of an ecosystem? And we have, and we come to this point where, hey, wait a minute, the egg of the mosquito has more connection to this shit than we do. It's okay, no problem. So now, what does disappear with this? Anybody? What disappears with humans? Well, what? So, I'm going to get out of humans disappear. What happens? Nothing. The animals don't fall, the ecosystem doesn't feel it, and on the other hand, the ecosystem actually goes up because nature takes back everything we fought. But something does disappear. Everything! Human creation. So what once was fiction, now is reality. But if we think out humans, our reality is fiction. That shit's not from this planet. That shit's from our brain. Proof? If we disappear, that falls, no longer functions. No other animal, insect, or anything in this planet will work with it. And this shit doesn't grow with trees. Proof? That from our imagination. And to be honest, there are actually people right now in 2017 that don't see that camera. For example, people in the Amazon. They don't have the concept of picture in their brain. So they haven't tuned into the frequency and identified that you can make a picture of yourself. So they're not able to see that. They don't know what the fuck that is. In order to see that, you first have to tell them, picture, what, copy of me? And then after you get the right concept in them, oh, and that's the machine you take the pictures with. So in order to see that, you first have to tune into frequencies identified to be able to tune that, to, to, to tune into this frequency and know what it is. You know what I mean? So that's what disappears to this man. All human creation. Now, think about this. Same way we'll never be 13 again. The seconds that we buy this conversation no longer exist. What's there now is memory. Because time is this, man. Seconds that go by are gone. It's like tick, tick. Talk, tick, talk, tick, talk. That's how it goes. 
And then, because it's memory, time only has one way. Proof will never be 13 again. Proof. And then, to be where we are right now is present and what's to come. And what's to come is this, man. More certain than all certainty I have, including this conversation that we're having right now, is this. I have seen people pass away, die, and the sun keeps coming up. For that to happen, the planet has to rotate, which means we're going 465 meters per second that way. We're not feeling it, but this, it's because of this we're here speaking. Because of this velocity. And I'm talking just about the planet rotating. Because the planet is going much faster around the sun, and the sun is in expansion to the fucking universe. Much faster even. So all this is going on in orbital velocity. Where seconds go by, no longer exist. All there is now, and what's to come. And when it comes to humans, we create our reality. Now, how is this possible? Well, I, I read something about Steve Hawking where he says, uh, we run the risk of being alienated by artificial intelligence. I didn't question that, because I said, holy fuck, can we, can we be alienated two fucking times? Because we have been alienated. See, world economy uses the true sense of the word, which is economy dash savings. We grab our money, we try to stretch as much as possible and get the most of it. The world economy does the opposite. Gets you work to earn money to buy the garbage they can visit to recycle a fucking lifetime. Hmm? We thrive on each other's happiness. World economy makes back torture. But wait a minute, Maybe world economy is not an apple. World economy is a camera, it comes from our imagination. It's not even real. Right? And we're slaves to it. Slave is this. People with bigger and better brains than you and I to make plans like nobody else knows how to make those plans, they make the plans. They put the plans to work. The plans go wrong. Who pays for it? Slaves. Well, where are you guys from, anyways? Italy. Italy, all well, fucking slaves. Chapechka. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what. You've been here before? No? no. Okay, now it's your face or something. Anyway. Alright, but that's the thing. So, see, where we create, where we create our objects, uh, and then to the point of now, we're actually slaves to them. So this surrealistic art project, our, my intention is also, our intention is all because you're part of it now, our intention is to take the world economy, the politicians of this planet, to court for slavery of humanity. Because like I say again, we thrive on each other's happiness, World economy makes my portrait. World economy runs on business. Business is not charity. Well then, for example, to fabricate weapons, you need to fabricate enemies to business. And let me tell you, war on terror? War is terror. So it's war within itself. Infinite. And then when you think about that, to fabricate weapons, you need to fabricate enemies? Holy fuck, where is this going? Right? It's not real, man. It's weird to read. What's going on in the world right now as TikTok, TikTok is going? Kind of like a soccer team. Mila. Mila. One Italiano believes in Mila. And then the collective of Italianos believing in that same Mila make the size of Mila. See how we create reality? That's how we create it. We are the ones giving it power by believing in it. And if you ask me, for example, that was a question that, that, that uh, I was asked, what came first, the egg or the chicken? <laughs> My answer was, I know chicken, I wasn't there to see the egg. But when it comes to humans, first came humans, then came God, and the rest of the human creation. See? So it's like, we orbit the planet, and then we have a collective bubble orbiting within us, our, our minds, our imagination, just like now. We're sharing this collective information, which will be in the collective bubble. You might not speak about it no more. You, you, you are going to think about this, because this is the sole purpose of this uh, art project, as far as the questions. I'm not saying I'm, what I'm saying is true, because our truth is not true. We create our truth. Uh, but what I am saying is we create. So how we do it, that's what I try to show. How we get there, how we reach. And then there's something very important, too, which is this. Genes, for example, genetics. I'm an atheist, I'll say this again, and uh, for me, soul has to do with love. But then when you think about soul, as in soul as a ghost and somebody else's soul, well, I also believe in that. But it's not soul and ghost, it's genetics. Because, see, that's how the information flew from my grandfather to my father, to me, and not to my son. And it's not just this, it's what's inside too. 
And now with technology we can see this. And not with the technology, but because we have all this technology. My son, when he was born, two years old, he was able to, with a one, two, three example, pick up my smartphone and fucking compute with it, which is turning on and messing with it. Listen, I have shown people my age 30 times and still can't do it. Which shows that the information was in him already. And then what happens is this. With the example, things make sense. Sense is our magnetic pole. It's information that's in us, right? So things make sense, and then there is to catch on to. Because imagine this. Imagine a child being born, and you having to put all these concepts into his brain. It wouldn't function. I'll give you another example. We have my kid, two years old, who's able to pick up a phone and compute. And two years old, if you put that machine to him, you straight away do this. All right? Instinctively, you pulse. Strike a pulse. So, but if I grab a two-year-old, with a guy my age, with a two-year-old, from the Amazon, it's going to be completely different. That kid won't see that, won't care about that. And if you put that to, him, to that kid, he'll fucking chew on it. As in my son, no. My son, without knowing, but knowing, because the information is in him, because it came from me to him, that's how species sticks around. It's kind of like a better version of Macintosh. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? So because that information was in me, it was already in him, and then with the example, boom catches on. Because also, when it comes to the human, we don't see the future. And if anybody says so, I can see the future. They're fucking lying. It's not even here yet. It's still the car. But, when it comes to humans, the future sees us. Because it's our children, growing up, seeing the example we are, and taking that with them into the future. That's how humans function. So what we want to see for the future, we have to be the example. Running the risk of getting to the end and not succeeding, but believing till the end. It's okay. If I don't succeed, they will. Because I've been the example. And then it's this too. It's a bonus. Because look at me. Believing. All the way. And then I get to the end. Oh, fuck. I'm wrong. Fuck reason. I don't give a fuck. Look at this. Not believing. See, I was right. <laughs> you know what I mean? No point. No point. So yeah, basic stuff is this. We did a science project. First question. Uh, and in the hope of, uh, it's not a matter of convincing nobody. It's, it's us within us. Because also, again, when it comes to humans, the more you know yourself, the more you know others. Because this is how the information flows. See, for example, I'll give you my example. I look, all, I look at all of you, right? And as I look at all of you, that information comes into me. For example, that information comes into me. And then what I do is this inside. I'll do it, Matt, this is me inside. I grab this information and compare with what I know for myself in order to see you. Oh yeah, you're cool, like fixing your arms. Yeah, cool. You understand that? So the more we go into ourselves, the more we know ourselves, the more information we have to compare with what we see. Right? So this is all an honesty in space within us. Right? Okay, let's go upstairs to the final concept. Hint to life is the final concept I'm going to play for you. Yeah. The melody. Let's go? That's great. Okay. Good. Please sit down. Please sit down. It's a very short concert, but I like for you guys to sit down, make sure nobody falls down. We're going to go fast. Okay, everybody in? <laughs> yeah, it's to record sound. Yes. So that, for example, with the door open, but yeah. if I close that door and do this with this, sound stays there. Yeah. So it's in order to record. It's not to keep the sound from going up. Please, man, can I sit down? A chair just for you. <laughs> everybody in? Okay, so I like to do this small exercise first. So we've all seen the movie Titanic? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, we're now, we're going to sit down or stand up, we're now going to go, imagine that scene where they're in front of the ship, yeah. okay, that's where we're going to be right now, and this is with this exercise that I like doing, which I said it before and I'll say it again, uh, for certainty, even for more certain than this conversation we're having right now, is this, people die, the sun keeps coming up, which means we're going fast, so let's try to imagine the velocity, because the sun comes up from there, 
It's 465 meters per second that way. So it's basically this. Although we're not feeling it, that's what's going on. Just the same way gravity is holding us down. Yeah. So let's try to imagine that velocity, orbital velocity, as I play this. Hint to life. And that no longer exists either. It's now in our collective memory. No, it's also on the phone. Good. <laughs> yes, I guess. It's also there too. <laughs> Say hi, people. <laughs> Orbital velocity, which is basically love. Love, man. Love is part of all this. What is love? Love is something bigger and stronger than us. It's something we feel and we can't even explain. It's like shit. It smells like shit. You don't need to explain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. It's stronger than this. And it's something you feel. And love, love, love can make someone kill somebody, man. I'll give you this. A father, who's a father, will give his life for his son. Trust me. Trust me, man. When I say, and I'm speaking from personal experience. I speak for myself. I, 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 we judge others from what we know of ourselves. So normally we think others are like ourselves. Okay? If you're a guy that you're not violent and stuff like that, and I'm a guy that I'm a killer, you will never think I will be able to kill you, although you'll be scared of me. But you, if you have a chance to kill me, you're not going to do it, because you are you were, you were not able to kill somebody. So you won't kill me. Even if you take the knife from me, you'll probably throw it out. And I'll go and grab the knife and try to kill you again. Because we judge others from what we know of ourselves, man. But not everybody are like us. You know what I mean? So it's uh, that's the whole issue with this uh, with this world because we all have five good ways of making this world a better world simple for example if it's a matter of creating jobs well fucking let's create jobs to feed the fucking hungry for fuck's sakes simple isn't it yeah. <laughs> but see things are not working out are they so it's probably complicated isn't it no man it's just because not everybody are like us and then when we think of business business is not fucking charity man business is business so if we keep going with this idea of, of building manpower and what do you want to become, which is wrong. So if we come with this idea of building manpower, we're fucked because we don't need to build manpower no more because we have technology. Technology, well, uh, you know, so if we, technology is there for us, man. It's not. But anyways, uh, this idea of uh, becoming someone, what do you want to become, is false. Because when you, when you want to be somebody... You stop being yourself, and you put yourself in the role of that person that you want to become. Which, my friend, you will never become because you're lost. You stop being yourself, trying to be somebody who you're not. It's, it's pointless. So, 
Our society is based on that. What do you want to go? What do you want to become when you're older? Oh, I want to become a doctor. Yeah, yeah. I want to become. You know. So you start putting that, but it's not you. It's you wanting to become someone, someone you're not. Because at a very early age, you've been put this idea that you have to be somebody. Where we are. See? We're, we're alive, man. When my son was born, he was born in Norway. The 27th of March at 2118, 2014. Right? It was actually warm in Norway at that time. And I came out. It was around 11 o'clock at night. And I was so fucking happy, man. I was 37 at the time. I'm 40 now. He's three. I was so fucking happy. I was like, hey, my son. And then I realized that it was, it's what we give to life. That's our biggest treasure. Wow. And then when I started thinking, holy fuck, where I put my son, I think it came to me. Oh, my goodness. That was my first Odyssey in space within me. That was really my first, wait, what's this? Information flowing from him. I'm like, what the fuck? So it was like this. Uh, I realized that I had given my son's soul to Pinocchio. In trade, he's going to have to work to earn money to buy the, book, to buy the garbage they convince him to recycle a fucking lifetime. I said to myself, hey man, that's not for my son. And then all of a sudden I thought, oh fuck, I gotta teach him how to use a Kalashnikov. But then, mm, he's gotta dodge bullets now. Nah, like, money, I gotta get a lot of money, but he's not gonna have friends. Oh fuck, man. It's gotta go from the roots. See? Because it's like this, man. We, our, your parents, you're their biggest treasure, right? And look at what they're leaving us nuclear weapons, bigger and better. Hungry people, business, and slave to business is this. If I was to the fucking, if a slave to world economy is this, right now, right now, with the point we're at, if I was to come up with a pill to cure cancer, I would be a threat to the world economy. Why? Because there's been a lot of investment in cancer, and they're expecting to make a lot more money out of it. So if I was to come up with a pill, that would spoil the plan. So basically it would be this. Stocks will crash. This shit will go to shit. You don't want to go there, man. See? That's where we're at right now, man. Because it's business. Business. And if you think this is... No, they won't do that. Hey, man, to fabricate weapons, you need to fabricate enemies. What do you mean? Business is business, man. Business is not charity. World economy runs on business. And then how do we fall into this? Oh, money. Money is a drug. Drug. Drugs, just like cocaine, heroin, even worse. Because you have you need the money to buy those fucking drugs. And then money, why is it a drug? Because listen, those that don't have money need it. Those that do want more. That's that's exactly that's exactly a druggie. Yeah, that's that's how drugs work, man. Those are the drugs that you got addicted to? Because if you don't have it, oh fuck man, I need a drug, man. Like money. If you don't have money, you need it. Because or else you won't buy food. You won't have house, you gotta be a fucking miserable. So you really need the money. And then when you have the money, I want more. It's like a drug. And that's how they get us. And it's because we think we are free that we enslave ourselves. Others occupy our minds while they enslave us. Right? We 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 put that space out, say, oh we're free. Sure we are. Look at the politics. How many, how many, how many, uh, uh, um, yeah. politics, politics, uh, yeah. how many, how many guys, how many of you guys have in Italy? Running, many, running for the, many, 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 many? Yes. oh, that's what, you guys are fucked. Yeah. Anyways, here in Portugal, it's more or less, PS, PS, they say to you, well, four or five. Mm. How does this work? It's like this. Here's the, the, here's the election. What these guys do in the world economy is this. They ask you, the more fingers there are, the worst. So if you have more than five uh, party uh, politician parties in, in Italy, oh, I pity you guys. Why? Because these guys ask you to grab your fingers, shove your fingers up your ass, <laughs> and then take it out and smell one by one and pick. <laughs> That's basically it. Because look, it's from the same hand, man. And it's yours, yeah. fucking yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's fucked up, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. Holy shit, that's why I don't fucking vote. Uh, no fingers up my ass, man. Because if we let, if we let somebody shove just this much, hey, it's my like it. You know what I mean? So, no, man, no. That's my point of thing. We create reality, man. And it's... Within us, you know what I mean. It has to be. It has to be. It's, it's a matter. It's not. It's not convincing nobody. 
It's um, I know I'm here, but see, this is a surrealistic art project, so I have to let it up. I have to use many, many ways. Um, also, because every time I give, I feel. And it's not just a matter of me giving and feeling from what I'm saying. It's because when I give, I'm seeing expressions. And I uh, also, because I feel and believe in it, I start picking up what I think is correct. Which, a lot of times, I'm wrong. But who gives a fuck? Mistakes are good. I admit to my mistakes. And then when we look at a mistake, we learn. So the more mistakes we make, the more we learn. But we have to admit to those mistakes. Now, if we make a mistake and we don't want to admit to the mistake because we want to be perfect, what happens then is this. I make a mistake. Ow. Your fault. P odds are, because I make a mistake and I blame him, I'm going to do it again. Ow. Your fault. And then if I do this many times, it's frequent. Well then, frequent, bash, normal, which doesn't mean it's right. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's because all of not making the mistake, it's because of making the mistake and not admitting to that mistake so you can learn from it. So, and with this, the world economy is basically that. So, all, all this idea of me going to court with the world economy and politicians, it's not that I want to be right. I don't want to be right. I want to learn. It's not reason. It's a matter of learning. It's asking questions and then getting everybody. Because we're all humans, man. To think about it. We're all one big fucking family as humans. We're all from the same family. We're all family. Family, Papa. <laughs> hey, pa, a long time no see. Campeach, Italians, baby. But it's basically that, man. It's basically, it's hope uh, and believing. Believing is something very important for humans. Uh, again, let's learn from the mistakes. Second World War. Mistake. No longer exists because it's back. But we can go to our minds and look at that mistake and learn from it, which, which is Second World War was a technological boom. You can film it, man. If you want to film it, you can film it. Second World War was a technological boom. That's what we learned from that war because all the rest was shit, right? right? But it's done. No point. We can't go back. So what's done is done. And there. Now we learn from the mistake, which is technological boom. But the technological boom was not the war. Because the war is a plague of grasshoppers on what we cultivate, which is peace, love, harmony, etc. Uh, the technological boom came from one man's ambition on Nuftaminish, Hitler, and then getting everybody to believe. And that's the reason we're in space now. He didn't want to go to space. He wanted to bomb the fuck out of the British. But, hey, his ambition in getting everybody to believe in it made it so that today we're in space. Now, I'm not saying Hitler's a good guy. What he's doing was, he showed how humans function. It's ambition and believing. Those things make us go from what once was fiction, now is reality. So ambition and believing makes humans transcend. Very simple. An athlete goes to do a high jump. High jump. He gets there. Believes. He pictures himself doing it. Believes. Pictures himself doing it again. He believes. And then he believes. He starts going. Ding, ding, ding. He gets there. Whoa! Slow motion. Yeah! Boom. He doesn't make it. He's got better chances of going back and trying again. Now, if you don't believe. Ooh, yeah. Start running. You trip. You fall. You quit. So believing is everything, man. And then, for example, we have a guy here who surfed a big wave. Not 30 meters, but close to 30 meters. McNamara. He's not better than nobody. Because, but he did do something good. He transcended. What he's showing there is this. We can surf a 30 meter wave. Because if we do what he did, we'll be surfing it too. So he's showing us. He's pushing boundaries out. He's not better than nobody. But he is. It's not a matter of being better. He's expressing himself and showing the rest of the world that we can surf 30 meter waves. Because if we do what he did, we'll be surfing that wave too, man. Shitting ourselves, but hey. <laughs> you can't get wrong. Oh my God. Let's right. still we'll do it. So that's the thing about this, man. It's us being ourselves, not wanting to be nobody else. Because then we're lost. 
And one day we're gonna come out. And it was like, uh, it's kind of like me being all this thing right now, and all of a sudden, it's like, what the fuck? Well, this is me. Sorry, I'll go back into my personality. Okay, you understand this? Because there's a certain time where we're not being ourselves, but it's gonna come out. Ourselves will come out. And then you're this very nice guy with your friends, this and that. You always tolerate everything, but one day you're yourself and you say, fuck you. And then, hey man, what the fuck was that? Well, this is me. Well, I don't like you. Why? My fault. Because I haven't been myself all this time, have I? I've been, tr I've been trying to be somebody who I am not, to the point where I just popped and here I am. Fuck this shit. And then nobody likes me because they're used to this other personage, which I'm not. I was lying to myself, thinking I could trick others. It's fucked up, isn't it? So that's a good reason not to do it. <laughs> Is this mind blowing or not? Is this yes, good. That's what I like to hear, man. Because this this is part of it too. It's me giving it the expressions, this and that, that I feel it. I feel it. And then it's not a matter of convincing nobody, and I'll say this again. Me, it's because it's a surrealistic art project. This is just within you. What's gonna happen is this. For example, now, not now, but even before, because you people are good good people, but there's also a reason why you're here, and I don't believe in coincidence. It's all no, energy. We just lost like our car and then we can... There's a good... Hey, man, the fucking plane would yes. fall on that car if it had to. You had to come there. Anyways. Uh, so, yeah, um, what was I saying? I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. But, yeah, there is a... It's, oh, yeah, here it is. It's because of, one, with, when you start being you, well, but focusing on yourself, and then uh, uh, tuning in and identifying it, what's going to happen is this. You will change your attitude, which you have very, very good faces, happy faces, healthy faces, smiley faces. But then with more, with the more information you give to yourself, what's going to happen is there's going to be a glow. And then you don't have to say nothing. It's just the way you live, the way you look, the way you smile, the way you look. Because other people are going to be aware. Because other people are going, to, are going to be going, they're, they're going to words like, oh, fuck. And then look at you. That guy's not in a hurry. What the fuck? I wonder what that guy does. That's what I should be doing. Fuck this shit, man. I'm all straight. Look at that guy. He's all fucking... Look at him. All zen and stuff like that. Holy fuck. Hey, buddy. Hi, guys. What do you guys do? Anyway. You know what? Fuck this job. Where you? Let's go. You know, that's how it goes. Though. It's influence. It's the example. It's not convincing. Because if you convince, you're going to have to be there tomorrow to convince again. It's not convincing. It's being... Because we're all in life. All of us. We're all enlightened. Oh, and get ready, man. Humans are going to transcend. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that's going to happen for sure. So get ready. You know? I hope so, but... No, no, man. Believe in it. <laughs> believe, seriously, believe in it. Things are happening, man. Things are happening. It's not stopping. See, we think, we think things don't change. We're completely wrong. This fucking planet is going to space where it's never been before. So is the star and everything else. So therefore, men are going where man has never gone before. Things don't stop, man. It's our idea that things stop. And keep in mind, you are the one creating it.